This week's weekend project is kind of special and I dedicate this to the people who were recently affected by the series of calamities that struck their country for the past year. I also dedicate this to those who don't have access to electricity in the less developed areas of the world. I wanted to share this project with you hoping that it will help the world to become a better and a brighter place to live in. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to an all new episode here at Tech Builder. I'm Angelo and I'm your host. In this week's weekend project, we're going to build a candle powered phone charger. What's cool about this project is that it can convert the heat of a candle directly to usable electricity. In our case, we're using this to charge a mobile phone. This video is brought to you by Banggood.com and eGizmo Mechatronics Manila. Let's start the project! But before you do so, you'll have to gather a bunch of stuff first. Here's a list of the things that you'll need. A USB charging module, a cooling fan rated at 5 volts, an LCD voltmeter, this thing's optional, a pelcher, also known as a thermoelectric unit, and some heat sinks that I recycled from an old PC unit. And last but not least, a metal pen holder. Okay, now we can start the project. You can start off by cutting a piece of metal using your rotary tool. This will soon be the compartment of your energy source, which is your candle. In this project, we are going to use a thermoelectric module, also known as the Pelcher or Peltier, as our base component. Now what's cool about the Pelcher is that it can convert thermal heat directly to electricity. But first, let's do a little experiment to demonstrate how a Pelcher works. Place two popsicle sticks on top of your pen holder's mouth, then put the Pelcher right above it. Now let's see how much power this thing produces. Grab a voltmeter, then attach two alligator clips or wires to the Pelcher's output pins. By providing heat to the lower part of the Pelcher unit, you'll notice that it'll start to produce electricity. It does this until it reaches the maximum output voltage. If there's no more way to mount the heatsink to the pen holder, you can use a good old bottle of super glue to mount it in place. Now we want to gather as much as heat and direct it to the Pelcher unit. Spreading thermal paste, which can be found on any PC shop, will increase the heat conductivity of the system. Use a swab to spread it evenly. Then mash the Pelcher on top of the bottom heatsink. Then again, use a swab to apply a generous amount of thermal paste on the other end of the pelcher. Once done, it's time to install the upper heatsink. Mash it as if you were putting back an Oreo. The pelcher, while it produces around 9 volts of electricity, but we only need 5 volts to charge USB devices. This is why we need to add a step-down voltage regulator or a USB charging module so that your USB device won't get damaged from the unregulated power source. You can simply use a blob of hot glue to mount it in place. For a pelcher to work, you must provide heat on one of its sides, then cool down the other side. Now installing the self-sustaining cooling fan would be the finishing touch to this project. Just simply screw it in place. Last but not least, you'll have to solder the power lines of the cooling fan to the Pelcher's power output. And that's how you make a candle-powered phone charger. If you like more of my videos, you can feel free to browse through my channel for more interesting stuff. And if you'd like to stay tuned for more of my upcoming projects, you can press the subscribe button to subscribe. What? You can press the subscribe button to stay tuned so that you can stay updated on more of my future and upcoming builds. Once again, I'm Angelo. Thanks for watching.